Give me the shot glass, sir. Welcome to Beer Googles, episode four. We finally got alcohol, boys and girls. <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Good day. Titanian? Titanian. Titanian. And and can you, also can you please tambien. tell me what that means? Uh, tu means you, and uh, tambien means also. Oh, but as my buddy Carlos says, uh, white people say it tambien, so they say it incorrectly. I'm going to toast on your gla- on your side, sir. Okay. Uh, where, where are you at? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Salud. Uh, Salud. Uh, Czech Mark uh, has I've never been done a shot of vodka before, so... Czech Mark has been missing vodka for many years. <laughs> Salud. Oh, that is good. So, welcome, oh everybody. God. What is... Holy Today, shit. we... <clears throat> we're we're going to talk about movie sequels, I believe. Is that correct, sir? That is correct, sir. What is uh, the possibility of the sequel being better than the, the original? Like However, that. we do have some housekeeping. Housekeeping? <laughs> housekeeping? Want me to be pillow? Hey, what, you want hand job? Wait, what kind of hotel is this? Before we talk about that, we need to address the housekeeping issues of the... Boxer Love? The Boxer Love donations from the previous podcast. Yes. So we must talk about this first because it is pivotal to our future success as me being broke. <laughs> Correct, and sir. And BoxerLove.org getting a shit ton of money, apparently. All the boxers need to be rescued. All of them. So last time, um, Christopher brought up uh, Ghostbusters, and I crossed particle streams like 52 times. And in the midst of that, I made many poop, pee, and semen jokes that were just just too much man <laughs> this is supposed to be fun and light yes. and not dirty and disgusting no pooping in a cup dude i'm gonna have different stuff so christopher came up with some rules last time we have them recorded we and do we, and we will keep a tally every every episode how many poop pee and semen things but i believe it was five dollars for a poop joke or some kind of a poop, poop reference poop reference yes like yes. man i took a shit today in like something like that. That is an example. That uh, that does not count. That was outside the rule. Then it was three dollars for any kind of semen reference. Like, man, did I rub one out and like, <laughs> and then one for wee wee poop poo. Well, just wee wee. Actually. Just wee wee. So five Correct, three sir. one poop semen. We one three five one three five. So boxerlove dot org. Boxerlove dot org. Please donate to it. Please donate to it regardless, right? Isn't it B-O-X-E-R-L-U-V dot O-R-G? Correct. Okay, excellent. Rescue a boxer. Rescue a boxer. Talk about Wee Wee and Poo Poo on this podcast, and I'll charge you five, ten, five, three, or one dollar. And, you know, it'll be a cumulative total, and I don't know if I can afford it. And they're smushy faces. So this is going to be the way I self-police myself. Self-police myself. Allow that's, yourself that's, to introduce yourself. <laughs> allow, allow me, allow myself to introduce myself. I believe almost in powers. <laughs> so we didn't even talk about that one. Shit, uh, that so has it's, it's ironic that that brought, brought up. That is odd because we weren't even on the, in that uh, game post or in that uh, mindset. So All sequels. Everyone's seen a fucking movie, right? Like yes. movies are awesome. Of course. Sometimes movies with a number two after them, not they're so good. Terrible. <laughs> they're pretty. For the most pretty. part, they're not good. Generally, they're not. Correct. Generally, they're not. Um, but there are a handful, a select few maybe 10 or so that are phenomenally remarkable like where it builds on the original in a different way or they're so different yes correct because i think the one we're talking about the, la- the last one we'll po- t- probably talk about is very they're just such different, different. and possibly better yeah different if, genres uh, i mean everyone yeah. has their own opinion correct so correct and those are like one in one a almost but we'll get to that all right so the first list we're going to actually go off the imdb list of poll uh the poll list that they have and we're going to start from the top down we're going to go easy as well as we compile our own list because we're psychos and we have our own fucking list that's right <laughs> so according to imdb on number 22 because we're not going to do all of them we're just going to do the ones that we care about because we don't give a shit about anybody else that's correct <laughs> number 22 is return of the jedi sir and I believe you and I have had this out multiple times. That is a Star Wars movie, by the way, in <laughs> case you didn't know. And for you younger people, it's like the first three of yeah. the of the nine, <sighs> not the second three or the third three. So Episode let's six. not kid ourselves. It's seven, six, four, five, six, four, five, six, four, five, six. Check mark it correct. 
<laughs> you, I just saw it in the theater. It's just very came good. Out. Yes, very good. VHS. Very good. It it had yes, Return of the Jedi. Yes. So anyway, what I found interesting, there's one thing about Return of the Jedi before we even talk about the movie itself that I remember as a child growing up and I have a movie story about it. Sure. I remember the original posters were Revenge of the Jedi. And then somehow, just out of the blue, no one said a fucking thing. All of a sudden, everything had to return. And I remember going, what the fuck, what the fuck? And that is correct. And I believe that's why they named it Revenge of the Sith later. Because Sith have revenge. Jedis do not. Or Jedi? Correct. Is it like Lego? Yes. Jedi? It's not yes. Jedis? Like I killed three Jedis? Correct. Okay. Just like Lego. Precisely. I build Lego. Yes. But I kill Jedi also. Correct. Okay, cool. You're totally on the right track. Boom. So, because this is, I believe, the one you liked more as a sequel, right? Did we not have this conversation? Um, n- we did not. We did, you and I did not talk about Jedi. Okay. Um, and we I, always talk about Empire. Yes. Which is where I would go. Yes. But I believe I thought you liked Return. As, no. Oh no, you no. like oh, that's correct. Oh, I fucked that up. You did so bad, so badly. It's okay. I'll forgive you. You had did have a shot of vodka. Please forgive me. Oh shit! <laughs> totally forgot. <laughs> keep keep uh, now expound upon your return of the Jedi. And what you um, feel. obviously it's it's you know 1983 and it's a it's a great movie. Darth Vader and the Emperor and all that crap. Um, thank you for my second shot. Three minutes in and Ewoks and horrible f- furry little people. Um, if you're into that kind of thing, do you know what I call Ewoks? Sure, no pre Jar Jar's. <laughs> That's accurate. Just shot number two. This is going to go downhill so fast. Yeah, we're going to fuck this up. It's going to be so great. (laughs) Buttons getting pushed. (laughs) Hey, I've got a button for you. Oh, I fucked that up. (laughs) But it doesn't really matter. Um, I I think I've already had too much. Obviously, I I liked it, but the, the Ewoks is not okay. Would you like my philosophy on the Ewoks? I would love to hear this crap. My favorite. <laughs> hey, tell me about your crap. Hey, pastor, tell me about your crap philosophy on your higher power. Praise Jesus. Like, I like that. Just tell me about your crap. How about I got real stuff, bro? Go. Okay. So, George Lucas, uh, in my opinion, believes in the force and all that shit. And it's, sure. to him, it's almost like a religion, in my opinion. So, how do you get people to join your cult? or religion right how do you get people to buy into what your philosophy is you start with young people how do you get young people you start with cute little cuddly creatures ewoks come in boom that's why jar jar exists in my opinion as well it was to get the kids because kids are cool with you know that kind of stuff but uh, you and i go yeah Oh, right. that guy ruined yeah. two movies. He ruined, yeah, and they shut they shut him down quick, quickly, quickly. And then, did you ever see that Lucas interview with like John Stewart? No, he actually had the fucking gall. Maybe I'll find the link. I'll put it up. But sure, he had the gall to make a claim like, "Oh, there's a group of people that like Jar Jar." Like four kids? Get the fuck out of here, Jar Jar! The only one who liked Jar Jar was Seth Rogen in Fanboys. Jar Jar is the shit. <laughs> we got that big tattoo on his back. You ever see that movie? It's, yes. That's a great movie. It's been a while. Watch Fanboys, Boys and Girls. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I agree with you. Return is not my sequel of choice either. I mean, but, I like to end with... Uh, and stop barking. God damn it. Sorry, sorry. Fuck. With Lando Calrissian and the, and the Millennium Falcon and... The, 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 the space scene was cool. You know, obviously there oh, were yeah. some great parts to it. It's our crop. That's, right. you yeah. know, Admiral. Thank you. Mr. Akbar. Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Mr. Akbar. We are going to make that. We are going to try to get the running rebs to of old Miss? repetition. Yes, the old Miss Why rebs. don't they have it's our crop. Admiral sure. Akbar as their mascot? <laughs> Licensing, maybe? I don't know. Why? I mean, come on. Disney owns them now. Yeah, can't Disney, can't it be the Disney University of Miss... Old Miss. Miss. Mississippi, Mississippi. Oxford, Mississippi. Mississippi. A lot of S's, sir. I I can't even talk about that. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I. P. I I can't even say either of them. I'm not. I'm I'm not paying a dollar, sir. I'm not doing it. It's allowed when you're not talking about urination. Oh. Okay. Well, that's good. (laughs) So, return. 
Um, I've got a better one. Let's just go to it. I think I'm buyer. It's dark. It ends dark. It's the end of the fucking world. It's like, it's an actual sequel in the fact that it... Fu- What's interesting is Star Wars actually was an open and closed movie on itself. I yes. Think. So it had the beginning, whole thing, the end. They get, you know, awarded their shit. They're all clapping. Technically, that's the it. The Death Star You're is done. gone. Right. The Death Star is gone. They won. Yay, Rebels. Woo. Not the running Rebels. Not the running Rebels. Of Old Miss. I shall trap. But... <laughs> And he was not in either of the first two movies. Not not no. either of them. No. No, he and he, made, he came in storming though. He, yes. Not, he was, not Norman. Not Stormtrooper. No. But not Stormtrooper. In, no. No, just stormed into he really made his presence felt. Yeah, absolutely. And said, and said, Unlike the running rebels of Old Miss. Yeah, they just they had Eli. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. They did? And his father. They, was His that Ole Miss before him? That wasn't Louisiana, wasn't he? No. Oh, were, okay, that's right. They're from Louisiana. All that shit. That was they were they both, Ole Miss. both Ole Miss. Right. I like all shucks, Eli man. All shucks. I'll just throw a ball up in there. <laughs> let some guy catch on his helmet. It's cool. It'll give me legacy. They won the Super Bowl. They did. Moving you're on. Right, you're damn right that they did, sir. They. The Giants of New York. <laughs> yeah. The New so, York Football Giants. So we are now. Really boring because this has been a oh. horrible start to this to this thing. No, Would you like another not. shot? Oh yeah, pardon me. <laughs> See, that's what I'm trying. To I didn't. Finish this oh one. shit, you didn't even have one yet. No. Okay. Well, so here we are. Return of the Jedi, a good sequel. Oh my god. The third one. I need to bring some tequila. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Can we do tequila next time? We will do tequila okay. next time because that shit's the okay, I mean, Blanco or or the. I guess Anejo. it's just not for me. That's just not. I'm just not a vodka guy. Sir. We'll talk about that next time. Anyway, Dan Aykroyd's Crystal Skull I'm glad you like it. It's an acquired taste. The bottle sir. is fantastic. It is. And you can make, you can like do Hamlet impressions. You'd be like, <laughs> I forsake thee. Is it, not, is it Macbeth is it, or is it Hamlet? I fucking no, bro. Bro. Okay. I'm not educated. I watch movies. You think I watch plays? Okay, so Empire versus Star Wars. Yeah. So you believe that Empire is the better, forget Jedi. You think Empire is shot number three. Oh, my God, dear. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. No, you can I fucking drink the bottle. I don't give a shit. I'm waiting, sir. You believe Empire is better than Star Wars? <laughs> um, I think Empire is as good as Star Wars, if not That's not the question. Better. But it's as good as or better than sequels, isn't it? You believe Empire is better than, the, than New Hope? As good as, if not better, yes. I believe that's the how a sequel should be. I don't think you can always say it's better because they are very different. But it's a question. If you have okay, gun to my head, yes. Okay, and so and I disagree. Okay, I cool. I am I think that most Star Wars purists. Ah, yes, and I I consider myself a Star Wars purist because I you know I saw the the original in the theater when I was six and it was life changing it was right. just wow you it see was. the millennium falcon coming at you and you're oh, like it's fucked up yeah. take me to take me to toys r us right now <laughs> I, I know we have no money but i i yes at least want i at least have to have han solo right you know i still have my <laughs> 1980 millennium falcon in my little home office and it's fantastic and like the guns ripped off and the radar thing he's all blah, 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 blah. but i still have it you know so it's still and you're right. Near and dear to your yeah, heart. Yeah, George Lucas is a psycho, and he fucked up Jar Jar Binks, and there's, he may be a psycho witch doctor that made up a religion, yes. But it did affect our childhood in, in for the most part, a positive way. For sure. That all being said, I still think that New Hope is a better movie because, like, you, you hit the nail on the head, that it, the movie is, it, it contains the entire story to, by itself. So then let me ask you this. Sure. Is Empire not a sequel then? The only reason it's a sequel is because it's linearly, linearly in time. Right? It's a time linear. It's the next thing, or it's a later chunk of history that happens in their world, right? <coughs> Which makes it a sequel. But it stands on its own. It really is. They're on a new planet. It's almost like it res- resets, right? Because just like in Star Wars, they're running away. And the ships behind them, they break for nobody. And 
and they pull them into their ship, right? Just like in Hoth, they're they're being attacked, right? They're always defending or something, trying to get away. Yes. At the beginning of both movies. So in their in their own way, they're almost number ones. I see what you're saying. They don't have to be. It's just a thought. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if you never saw New Hope, you could watch Empire and you could you wouldn't need to know the story of those people. Right. I think you'd pick up on the relationships. Obviously it grew. grew right. You as, could it would it would be helpful to know who Obi-Wan Kenobi was. Yes. You would help it would be helpful to know okay, you didn't know the droids, you didn't know Darth Vader, but you could I see your point. So let me ask you this. Let's break that let's break that trilogy into three trilogies or the nine part oh my god because they really came out in threes right of let's course. be honest. they came yes. out in threes yes and obviously that wasn't the initial i don't even know if they had empire in mind yet when they made probably Star Wars. not i don't think so well because the money it got cult classic well the money very early. Yeah. yes it was in 1977 so yeah he didn't think there was going to be yeah, exactly have the money to do that exactly yeah they and no one really fought like that was a that was a pretty big endeavor that they took i mean they all those models and all the yeah the stuff they built the, that was pretty big. yes explosions so, yeah, so the first three of the three, if there is a trilogy, is is Return better than Empire? To in your opinion? No. Okay, so we could we could make the argument that possibly Empire is as good if better than Star Wars, or they're two individual pieces. So that's the first trilogy. What about the second trilogy? I fucking hated Phantom Menace because Jar Jar. I just can't fucking. Misa, Misa, well, I, I, I agree with you that Jar Jar ruined the movie. I did like when you first, you know, it, it had been years, sixteen years since the movie. Okay, fuck, that's a long time. It had been no, sixteen years, eighty three ninety nine. So it came out ninety nine, and that, and that when I first show. heard Senator Palpatine's voice, I was like, oh shit, that's the Emperor's voice, and I was brought back to my childhood again and that was really cool then you know you see Ewan McGregor and you see um whoever played Qui-Gon Jinn I'll find you I'll hunt you down yeah the taken guy right and then I'll do it on a plane and then I'll do it in a car and then and then I'll do it on a train <laughs> and then I'll do it in another mode of transportation we have us. I think there's gonna be a space uh, space taken a Starfleet a space Academy in- taken <laughs> so Yes, Jar Jar with the shots of vodka, dear lord. Uh, just Uber dot net. Um, I it was cool to see Qui Gon and to see a different generation of Jedi. The, my point about that is, <laughs> Darth Maul was awesome, and Darth Maul was Darth Maul was probably cool. one of my fa- my number two favorite star wars characters ever never talked right did he, he talk? did in solo the newer generation right. bullcrap right we can't talk about yeah that's we true. could but anyway, it's off so that's anyway so maul, to your point first of all maul his the face was the, awesome the, the, the stare the eyes the, the red uh, eyes all the that yeah the horns, thingies, the horns holy shit and the, the dual lightsaber. lightsaber the music during the lightsaber scene and the lightsaber battle with the three of them I think was one of the best Star Wars scenes ever. Yes. The movie, the story, God, Naboo and the underwater gang dungeons and shit. Gungan style? <laughs> oh my God. Misa go on YouTube. Misa make gungum. Oh dear Lord. So, I have there no were idea. The, the, it I was. Should I TikTok that or talk ticked? Is it like flip flop, or it's really the first episode? Dude, flop, that's not a new a app. It's flip flop. <laughs> so flop flip, sir. Flop flip. We don't have flip flops here. I'll explain that one another time. Thank God, I'm so anxiously awaiting that. <laughs> so Darth Maul, he's cool. He, he was. Yeah, he was pretty cool. That that scene yeah. was fantastic. Yeah, with the shields, like yes. the thing where they and transfer you see, and they you turn see him come and down and he's meditating. Yes, that was so freaking badass. Totally cool. So that scene, I think. was was really well done yeah but George R. fucking blew up the movie yeah that's true i thought the clone part in the second one of that one was actually good so, yes and the third one was good too i just if i were to break them down i would think 
the what Attack of the Clones? The end where they had all the armies. And yes. The, the end, yes. Doku was there and all that shit. Yes. That shit was cool to me. So I would put that one better than the first, than Phantom. For sure. I agree. But I don't. Attack I of the still, Clones I liked. Still a little bit on the third one. Still not sure. I didn't like because Darth Vader didn't look like Darth Vader at the end of Attack at the end of Sith. They show him in, in well, the first time you ever see Darth Vader. Like that, Darth Vader was a menacing, large, powerful figure. Right. And he didn't look like that. He just looked like a skinny little white dude that they just put a little black suit on, and it didn't look it didn't look intimidating at all. Oh, see, I I thought it was pretty cool the way they if did. If they that. shot it, the camera angle from below, then I would have been like, okay, cool, like. Because obviously they should have made him look more badass. I think I can't speak for the director or Lucas or anybody, but I think they were trying to focus in on the mask. I don't think they cared about as much about his body because it's like when you think Darth Vader, you, you think you, yes, but so I think that's what they focus on. I'm not saying you're, you're right, right or wrong. Right. You're right. I'm just saying just that's what I think was, they focused on. I was not impressed with that scene. I thought it was neat because it just showed how broken Anakin was. Like, he was uh, yeah. nothing. And then they obviously glued him back together. Yes, yes. And it shows you how little of him was really left, both physically and emotionally, after all the stuff that happened in the first, you know, in that in that first three grouping, right? Because it's a prequel. Or yeah, whatever. it's three stories about him. It's a prelogy. It's how he became... Right. So it's really interesting to see that. But that's that's what that was. Third. What about the third grouping? Uh, the first one was the best of those three because they just got ridi- more ridiculous as they got later, in my opinion. But I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. The third group of the Star Wars is this is the last three. Uh, let's see, Last Jedi. Oh, that Rise shit. Of Sky- oh, oh, Skywalker. Sorry. And- yeah, it was that bad, <laughs> right? Like, it's that bad. Like- you're like, fuck. We're not even talking about the same thing. Um, can you please have another shot so fuck we can? No, dude, you're trying to kill me, Bro, man. Maybe you just need to drink again, dear liver. Look, I'm gonna miss you we, so much. We can't have vodka goggles without vodka. We have vodka goggles. So, which uh, movie is most favorite of the checkmark? Oh, checkmark. Well, we I've they're releasing. Uh, I believe uh, the Attack of the Clones next week at our country. Okay. So we I've seen the the Hope and the Empire and the Return and the and the Phantom. Does the check mark like? Uh, I like Phantom of the Opera way more. <laughs> Phantom of the Mentis. Do you honest. like the Ewoks check mark? No, I do not like Ewoks. Why not? <laughs> They're ridiculous. Little fuzzy teddy bear comes. Think you hit me with club? You think stormtrooper going to get hit in the head with rock? He he fight laser beams with his armor and he and he get hit in rock. Ow! I'm out. Does not work. Does not work in my. So way. I've I've been in this shit. Thumbs down. Well, check, check mark. Down? I do not give it a check mark. Oh, no check mark. No check mark. However, Empire get check mark. A Attack of Clone get check mark. Th- mm-hmm. Those two. Well, no, I've not even seen Attack of Clone yet. I can. I'm excited for it. <laughs> this Friday. This Friday. 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 <laughs> yes. So we have now beaten the Star Wars disc. Okay. So t- just to put a just to put a a bow on Star Wars, I did see the last one. The Rise of Skywalker? Yes. And I almost walked out within 10 minutes. The first 10 minutes, I almost left. I was so... Did you see it? I did. I, when they... It's actually in my player right now. Oh, God. I'm trying, I'm trying to watch please it. Please light it on fire. When they... <laughs> when Palpatine was still alive, I went, Really? You're still regurgitating this story from 1983? Yeah. I'm done. Well, J.J. Abrams, you know, his homages... It's been 37 years. <laughs> Fuck you. You expect me to believe? You expect me to believe? This is, this is what happens when you have three <laughs> shots of vodka, bro. I don't even like that shit. Oh, man. <laughs> you. Well, we better turn it to whiskey dick. I mean, click. Whoa. Whiskey dick click. Whiskey click. I like that, dude. Um, we may have to change it, not, it's we're not drinking okay. vodka. Anyway, no. I, it's not okay to regurgitate that shit. And no. I, I, I seriously thought about getting up and walking out. There were some good scenes. I liked the lightsaber battle with Ren and the other weird dude, and but I was incredibly disappointed. Force Awakens sucked. 
And I'm going to say I it did like way. it, but it was it regurgitated. Was, it was a New Hope too. It was. It I absolutely mean, look, was. Are yes. you telling me that the desert fucking world with suns and everything is not Tatooine? I agree. And it's Dantooine or some fucking thing. It sounds exactly it the does. fucking same. It absolutely does. It's a fucking and I like it, JJ. I'm a huge JJ yes, Abrams Transformers, fan. dude. Come on, yeah. Well, Star Trek. Yeah. The, uh, the, oh, the, yeah. Retri- the retried Star Trek is yeah. fucking phenomenal. I agree. And it's not homage. No, I agree. Which doesn't make sense because he made Star Wars so like itself. Mm-hmm. I. They no. even talked. They even made references in the movie about it being an homage. Right. And even he said, and it's like, I think we beat that dead horse, bro. We're done. Please. JJ, th- thank you for all you've done for cinematography, JJ, but. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's kind of like a rerun, bro. Dude, you, you did a cover song. I hate to say it, but you did a cover. You know, <laughs> it's a good mo- it's a good cover. Yeah, but it's still a cover. Kind of. It's not a good cover. Multiple times. Okay. It's average cover. He's average. Check mark. All right. Next so, on the so, list, please. Well, this is where we got interesting. So on number number uh, nineteen, they have Batman Returns. So, for all you people in our generation, this is the eighties, bat, the late eighties Batman, the Keaton. So, returns is with Penguin. This is the one with Penguin, Cat which is Danny Woman. DeVito, Catwoman, which is Michelle Pfeiffer, Christopher Walken. Three hits. <laughs> and what was and Christopher Walken? La la la, connect the dots. La la la. Who plays uh, Penguin's dad? Christopher Walken was who in the movie? I forget, but he was a bad dude. I just, I just don't remember what he was. Okay. Why did you have to put me on the spot like that, asshole? <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> sorry, bro. That was that was a four shot talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know he was in it, or I forgot that well, three years was in the three movie. years. When 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 I when I looked at it again, they said he was in it, and I totally forgot. I haven't watched it in a while, but I do remember how awesome that movie was. Yes, the Penguin was fantastic. Because I was not. I'm not a Tim Burton. Thank you. You're welcome. See Planet of the Apes. I'm not a big Tim Burton fan. Okay. Now. He's great in his genre of like the nightmare before Christmas. It's really cool the way he did that kind of stuff, right? Like the what was the one Nightmare for Christmas? Coraline, Edward or, Scissorhands. Oh, he did Scissorhands. Sure, I think he sure. did. I don't know. Why not? Who cares? I don't like him either. But okay. go ahead. So, so when the first one came, as good as it was, and I was a huge Michael Keaton fan, but um, I don't think he's just, a good Batman. It was a little cartoony. I think he was a good Batman actually. When now I look back on it. He beats Val, and I like Val Kilmer. I agree. He's Clooney. I agree. I mean, but these are also but retreads. See, but Batman has to be dark. He's called the fucking Dark Knight. Yeah. And they made it campy. They did. Well, they made it. It was Burton. Let's. It was. It had Burton's fingerprints all over it. Because he did. But it was like very showman-y, okay. right? He made it very circusy and very yes. like bold and big, bold and dynamic and just very. Okay, so why is Batman Returns better than the first one? Acting. Okay. DeVito is fucking phenomenal. But ver- better than the Joker? This town needs an enema. It's at least as and good. And Vicky Vale. Ah, eh, basing her. She ended up being Eminem's mom. Like, that she- didn't really... That fucking took, took... The problem is, it was like... That was like a sequel, and that didn't really do it for me. It kind of made me not like her in this. I wasn't a big Basinger fan, man. I only saw okay. Nine and a Half Weeks 1. I didn't see Nine and a Half Weeks Part 2. I didn't know there was a sequel. I, I don't think there was. Okay, then. Was it another? Oh, I think it was no, another nine and a half weeks, oh, which is a whole other thing. But let's let's go back to Batman. Please. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, what I love about Batman is just DeVito in that penguin role and Pfeiffer was smoking hot. And it was two really good bad guys. When they put Riddler together with Mr. Freeze... I liked them individually, it but wasn't it didn't work. It was with Mr. Freeze. It wasn't? It was Mr. Freeze with Poison Ivy. Oh, yeah. And then it was Riddler with Two-Face. Yeah, that. What? Oh, yeah, with Tommy Lee Jones. Oh, God. Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, I just had a real press hey, let's not. Ta- let's not. Let's, let's, let's get ther- therapy. Therapy's not going well. So. Batman Returns. Good acting. It's fucking phenomenal. And I think he tuned it down just a hair, or you knew what you were getting into. So going into a Tim Burton movie, knowing what to expect from him made it more easily digestible the second time around because I just don't like his style. So it's, it was really ugh, in the beginning. I took a lot for me to kind of digest. What are your thoughts? I, I, I don't, the penguin, I just didn't him eating the fish and, and just, I didn't care for it. I mm-hmm. thought it was just, 
it was just weird. I didn't find it creepy or scary. It was just weird. Yeah, it was like, a what's weird. his Like, what is he trying to accomplish? He doesn't even know. Just cause chaos. Like, that's dumb. Yeah, he just wanted to break shit up. Right? Yeah, and I, that's why I think the Joker was better. And let's be honest. The actor... You know, Jack is fantastic. Jack is about as good as you're going to get. Yeah. And we're going to talk about the other Batman, which had the other Joker, which right. was a sequel yeah. to its trilogy uh, or whatever. Or and this grouping. one, I think they I think they tried to make... Cat, I think Catwoman was great. She was like... You could tell she was kind of demented. Yeah, and I think she, she was did, fucking crazy. Right, and I think she did a great job portraying Catwoman as... Oh, I'm I'm mentally disturbed, right. and I was like, that was really. I really think that was done very well. And if Renee Zellweger was just a little older at that point, oh she yeah, would have taken that fucking cake and ran with it. Yeah, She's true. A fucking psycho, <laughs> psycho. Uh, but Sorry. I still think the first one was better because I just didn't. The yeah. Penguin just didn't. I was like, ah, uh, I don't really want to watch this. I, I, I never want to watch it again. Well, Danny DeVito is just disgusting human being, vile human being to begin with. He's hard to look at. I. I and that they made him eat it more, like, like it just it just accentuated his disgustingness. Okay. Anyway, so well, I guess we can move on because obviously we're at an impasse here. <laughs> we can, we're going to argue over everything. I don't think we will. No, I don't think so either. I think we're totally good. So there's the uh, so we're going to scroll up number thirteen on the list. Yes. Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers. Yeah. So I fell asleep three minutes into each of the three movies. How were your naps? They were pretty. They were pretty fucking hot. I pretty woke magical. up to like trees doing this. Ooh, ooh, tree walk. And then I, I woke up to like things with pointy shirt things with pointy ears. They were still walking. For and then and at the end, I think nine hours of walking. <laughs> it, was, it was. Yeah. Delicious. So I have not seen it. Okay. But I understand we have a resident expert, and I'm uh, going to drink while you while you speak. You to didn't, fuck yeah, he's going to drink. Of course, I saw <sighs> three. I've seen each one probably three times, and holy shit, um, are they worth? Okay, are they really worth? I'm a geek, but I'm not a fantasy guy as much as I'm more a sci-fi guy. It's then you wouldn't. It's not okay. sci-fi. Okay, but Thank I you. like that genre. Um, but I did. I two Twin Towers is. It's not Twin Towers, it's Two, two towers. towers, Jesus. Dos, dos my, Taleros. My, my apologies. Oh, the shots, you fucker. Um, the Towers, the second one, I, is my favorite of the three. Uh, my only is he's, he almost spilled rut row. Can you read that? It says bro? Star Wars Celebration. Thanks for the shot glass, Abel. Thanks for the second one because I broke the first one. Thanks for the two shot glasses, Abel. <laughs> So I'll try to be more careful. And I like to thank my girlfriend for picking up this broken skull after I drop it and knock it off the desk in a couple of minutes. Um, <laughs> thank you. So thank you for that, Megan. I do. Uh, the second one is I do like out of the three. My only issue is that a third of the movie <coughs> is. <coughs> 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 Someone's microphone is now muted. I'm good now. I swear I'm good. It's okay. We can take a... I'm good now. We can take a breather. No breathers. <laughs> Un well, unedited. Uh, Please can, yourself, people. We can take a breather so that you can breathe. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, we're so... Oh, fuck yeah. We're so fucked. So we need some hot pockets. Hot pockets. Oh. Uh, yeah, probably. Diarrhea yeah. buckets. Or like some kind of breakfast to make. Like, I'm gonna make waffles, bro! <laughs> Yo, bro, I got pancake mix. Bro, uh, I got pancake mix. Cheese. I'm gonna make pancakes. Oh my god, it's gonna be great. Bro, I'm gonna add eggs. I'm gonna add bacon. Pigs in a blanket? <laughs> okay, anyway. So, the only Two issue towers. with the towers is that a third of the movie is that fucking little dipshit Smeagol. My precious. Ooh, yes. Is him having oh, the conversation precious. with himself? Because he has multiple personality disorder and his therapist wasn't in the fucking movie. That pissed me off. And I'm like, oh, dude, just fucking wrap it up. Stop talking to yourself. <laughs> wrap it up, Schmeagle. Fuck, wrap it up, B. So. <laughs> <laughs> what if they replaced him with Robert Schmeigel? Yeah. Because <laughs> he does all the like fun TV's fun house and all that good stuff. Fuck yeah. Robert Schmeigel's fucking. I know. Real audio. Remember real audio? I do. TV's fun house. Yes. Yes. Oh, got sure. And Ooh, ambiguously gay duo. Hey, Ace. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> and it's kind of in line of Batman. 
It now is. It. So I, I did like the second one. That is that is my favorite. Okay. For sure. Well, also, Jason. which we haven't said yet, if you have any comments or any thoughts, hello, Twitter world. <laughs> if you have any thoughts about OJ's choices, just get on top of the YouTube and leave a comment. Thank you, Twitter OJ. world. I would like to talk to you. <laughs> If you don't put a comment to go to ship you some jello pudding pops with the roofies, you see. That's not a bad one. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's yeah, roofies, you see. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> I go criminal. I watch Jared has AIDS. <laughs> That's a whole other. On Actually, I have a new topic that we're going to talk about in the future. Okay. But not now because we have to stay on track because people yell at us for going on tangents all the time. They do? I don't know, me. I think I think some people do. I'm like, I'm sorry, everybody. I okay. Sorry for my tangents. I like our tangents. I do too. I think our tangents are they're like right angles and they're really clean. I'm moving along. Moving along. Okay, number eight on the list. Yes, sir. Star Trek: Wrath of Khan. So the first one, I don't remember. I just remember Sinead O'Connor was in it. Yeah, she ripped up the picture of the Pope. Why was the Pope in the movie? Because he was molesting people even in a planet far, far away in a galaxy future away. Alien children. I think Catholicism was still existent. Catholicism was still existent. What's the check marks take on the Stardate 248.4863. Fucking Star Trek nerds, just so you fucking know, I don't know how the dates translate, so don't fucking tell me that I got the wrong date, all right? I don't need... No, that was Star Trek. What was the fucking... Uh, what, what was the combination on Captain Kirk's locker in the third episode? Six, 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 four... Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> anyway. the first one had Sinead O'Connor. It yeah. had some bald lady, right? Yeah, and nothing compared to her. So, <laughs> technically... Technically, the sequel can't be as good. Oh, God, dear ladies. So, what's the point... That, ooh, what's the point... This is not a good idea with the vodka, bro. What's the point of the first so. movie? Give me... God damn it. Okay. they This thing came back and made noises. It was like a cloud. And it was Sinead O'Connor. And she's like, this thing came Vija, back. Vija. And what it turned out was the original Voyager satellite that was sent out to space. And then it came back from aliens, brought it back with like this cloud. It like grew into this, like a, like a sentient thing on its own. And then it controlled Sinead O'Connor, and then ma- I don't think it made her rip up the picture of the Pope. I think she was voluntarily happily happy to do it, but well, it ruined her career. Everyone would be happy to do that. So, uh, except for maybe all the Catholics, I don't know. Just saying, I don't know. So yeah, so so the whole the first one just sucked. It was just a piece of shit. However, Khan. Okay. Oh, okay. why were they even given any more money? When everybody hated the first one because Star Trek, because it is it Star Trek, did well for it, what it cost. It's it's it. It didn't. It, okay, it's all about money. On, right? I don't even. I remember Star Trek. I remember seeing it. I remember the ball lady. Is it even worth my time to go back and watch it? I would watch it as a as a comparison of things not to do in a movie. <laughs> so I would. Waste but I would watch it. Two hours of my time. Um, I you know if you're a Star Trek fan, you love the character. The characters right so you yeah. might pull something from from that right like here's here's a big one something big different from like it's not like an extension of the tv show it actually rewrote it actually was its own thing yes because in the original star trek movie the motion picture like in the late 70s that's is what we're talking cor- about correct the one we're talking about the original science officer was a vulcan and he beamed over and there was a transporter accident remember i don't there was a transporter accident and that's why they got spock Spock was actually not the first choice in the movie. But he was in the TV show? In the TV show, he was already the first officer. It was already a set thing. Like it was our, Everybody was already in place. In the movie, it's like they just they just started meeting each other. It's almost like they met for oh, the first time. It's I not prequel of that. Yeah. But what it really was a really crazy one is that uh, the Vulcan science officer on the transporter melted or something like there was a transporter malfunction which never had happened in 100 years or some shit so then they got spock and that's how they got spock but fucking ricardo montalban that okay. motherfucker so dude he can moving on to number two leather all day <laughs> with his fantastic <laughs> hair leather. the plane the starship the starship thank you tattoo welcome to fantasy planet 
<laughs> the Starship! The Starship! How do you go from the first one, which is so incredibly not memorable? Yeah. I remember a bald lady and not liking it. That's all yeah. I remember. To Wrath of Khan. Be, I remember it being so fantastic. I, so I, fantastic. Whenever it's on TV, I watch it. Check I've off, it. check off, and check mark. Or ch check, they check were mark. Like this. Look, check off is my favorite character. Well, he's, obviously, he's like nuclear vessel Lieutenant. captain, evacuation captain, and he got the earwig in the helmet and he <gasps> swore while. Ah, Walter Koenig, my son's going to kill himself in Vancouver Olympics in the park. Oh no, this is the end of the world. I don't know if you do that. I did not. So Walter Koenig's kid, the guy who played Booger. On Growing Pains? Oh. That's guy killed himself. And remember Vancouver? Remember the Vancouver games? Yeah. It was 98? Winter games? Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Sure. Could be wrong. But uh, yeah. Kill himself. Walter Koenig's kid? I think it is. Shit, I hope I didn't say something wrong because I probably could get sued for that. But um, The views and opinions expressed in beer Googles <laughs> may be no inaccurate. One, trust me, are nobody else's fucking opinions. They're definitely the vodka's <laughs> fault. <laughs> I blame I blame Dan Aykroyd. I'm going to sue Dan Aykroyd now. Yeah, now you're just going to blame the vodka. Okay. The vodka. Skull. I blame Skull Crystal. But yes, Chekhov, my favorite. Uh, of, of course he is. Of course he is. He's the only man who makes. He's like head guy over there. He yes. runs the ship. He kind of, well, he's all He's the really ship. in charge. He's not like Charles, no. No. We just got that, too. That's right. a good show. Yes. Erica Laniac. Thank you very much, sir. Nicole Eggert. Oh, yeah, it's Nicole Eggert. The other Erica Laniac. Yeah. It's like, she's like the Erica Laniac of the Charles in Charge. Of course. And Nicole Eggert is the Erica Laniac and Nicole Eggert of Baywatch. Of course. <laughs> so, they crossed the streams. <laughs> they did. I'm not ever saying that again. I am. Because I said it 500 times it's last, fantastic. last episode. fantastic. Keep saying it. There is no Dana, there's only Zool. Uh, so, back to... What Wrath of Khan <laughs> yeah, Khan. is fantastic. It is. Now, I don't know if you know this. Did you watch this? In, we were not alive when it was on. And they're only the TV show. Okay, right. And, and there were only three episodes, three seasons. Three seasons. Crazy, right? It yes. doesn't seem like that much. There were like 80, 80, 70 some episodes. Sure. Something like that. We have to, I had to vet that exact number. But it's under 100, I think. Also lies from vodka. Yes. Yo, my memory, not so good. But that season three just came out in the Czech Republic. Yes, but my liver worse. Yes. Much, much worse than my brain. Of my brain cells gone. I did not have so many brain cells up here to begin with. But I had all liver. Now I'm now cells. half liver. Half liver, half cirrhosis. It's like a 5149. I, I'm trying to stay on the side of the, of the angles. Ahead of the curve. <laughs> so, um, Khan. Yes. Did you know that Khan was actually an episode? Yes. Okay. Did you know that when Khan came out, the movie? No. I didn't either. Because I didn't watch, I don't think I was, I don't know if it was allowed to watch. I don't know what the right term is, but. Well, I hadn't household, seen like, all the episodes. Right. I didn't have access to all the episodes. Right. I didn't have cable growing up. My, no. Whatever. We're not going to talk about all that. But regardless of vodka. Of, yes. Well, maybe you get some true serum. Mm. So, uh, so anyway, so when I watched that, I, did, I thought it was its own thing. I thought Khan was just some guy who did whatever, but it actually turns out he was exiled in the TV show, which made it really smart to bring him back. Yes. But the, how they, how good of a fucking character he was. Yeah. Arnold Montalban was fucking phenomenal. I Because the accent even has that evilness to it, and it's whatever, you know. His vengefulness against Kirk. Oh, yeah. Made the movie. Oh, absolutely. I mean, wow. It's rage. Yes. It's just like blind, I will stop at nothing Correct. to destroy I you. spit on the... I was like, yeah. oh my, that's so... Oh, God. you could just... Like, you can feel it coming off the screen, mm -hmm. how much he hated Jim Kirk. Like, holy shit. And what I truly loved about it is that they were able to use the same fucking actor. I didn't know he was in that. I yeah, Maca Montalban was in, yeah, the, in, okay. the, in the episode. You know, it's like bringing Vincent Price back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Vincent Price doing X and then coming back right. to do Thriller, right? right? Like, the voice of Thriller. Yeah. It's fucking phenomenal that he picked, you know, that thing. So, yeah, so Wrath of Khan was awesome. What I liked... Going into, remember, the retread. JJ did retreads, right? Yeah. The second one with Darkness, Into Darkness. Yes. Where with Cumberbatch was Khan. Yes. And then they flipped the script. Where where uh, Spock was yelled out Khan. Yes. Like, I, lo I love the way they did that. Where Spock didn't die, right? 
Yes. It was an interesting... I don't want to spoil anything, but it wasn't well, Spock. It's been died. 10 years. You can spoil oh, it. Yeah, so Jim, so Kirk dies instead of Spock. Right. It's it's a pretty smart way to do that. without Because it would have been boring, I think, if it was the exact same way. I thought that was a nice twist when I watched that. What would you think about that? Um, I I didn't... I It was fine. I didn't care either way. I liked the first one so much yeah. that I was disappointed in the second one because of the storyline i thought the story was lacking like the the story with khan and his 73 relatives that he put in missile yeah like they look like they in look stasis. like caskets yeah right yeah they're in stasis. so i didn't like that i i i thought the story was good if that wasn't khan like uh, if they i because the name of khan is so highly, synonymous with that yeah so highly regarded in the star trek world that like if you called him Bubba or whatever, then it thing. would have been a good story. Right. But like I think it was a bold choice. It was. It was very ballsy, but I don't think the story was good. To, I don't think it was a good match. Right. So I, I still I I still like the first retread better with the with the Kardashians and not those ones, the other ones. The with them coming back in time and Kirk and his dad, Thor being his dad, which I thought was really cool. Like being a lot, being a fucking Anthony Hopkins was Jim Kirk's dad. No, Thor, not Odin. Thor was Jim Kirk's dad in the first Star uh, Trek. Oh, that's right. Holy shit! I did not even think. And about he was that. a he was. Or Eric Bana was in it, right? With with when he was the Romulan, Eric Bana played Eric the bad Bana. guy. So the yeah. Hulk and Thor. The guy looked like Corey Feldman in the first Star Trek. Trek. That's right. Boom! Totally forgot about. And Boner that. was in it too. Yeah. Boner was also a Kardashian. No, Romulan. I'm sorry. Boner. Not, it's Boner, by the way, from, from from Growing Pains. Correct. Boner was a... I'm sorry, Romulan, not Kardashian. Sorry. Boner was a Romulan? Yeah. That's the guy who killed himself. It's not Booger. Boner. Boner. Not He's Walter Koenig's kid, right? Ill regardless. What the fuck, man? Boner. How much have I drank? Five shots. Boner, oh, you're keeping up. Thor, and Hulk were all in the first Star Trek. And none of them. <laughs> That's right. Like one Hulk, one yes, Thor, one Thor, one and Boner and Boner from, from Growing Pains. Yes, Boner. he was what? one of the. We need to. We all made fairly, up. Fairly, fairly certain. I'm looking that shit up. Because they that. had, they were bald and they had a weird like. They were Reman. tattoos. They were Remans, not Romulans, right? Because Ben is like looks like Corey Feldman. He's like, where are you, Corey Haim? I mean, I mean. Uh, that movie Kirk. is so fantastic. Yeah, I the really, first one was really good. I and did. how Star, I how Kirk goes back in time. He's yes. got the red matter. So good. Yeah, it's totally good. I love time paradoxes and it all just, that kind of shit. It fucks with your head yeah, so much. Yeah, I thought it was just great. Beautiful. I agree. I like that they did Into Darkness with Khan because Cumberbatch is so good. Yes. If it was anybody else, like if it was a shitty actor that they just threw Khan onto, but Cumberbatch is. Act does act as well as like a Montabon. You know what I mean? Like I think they're on the same level of like actually I would think Cumberbatch is probably even a better actor. Being whole Sherlock and all like Doctor Strange and all these other characters that Benjamin Cumberbatch has been. He's a really good actor. So when he was he had that sharpness to his Yes. His, like just the way he looked, like just looked he looked like a lean predator. He looked like a praying manis to me. I don't know. It sounds weird, but I get your point. And then, but that it was the flip of the whole thing where Kirk saves the Enterprise, and he has to be this that they did that different twist because you're expecting Khan because you're waiting because yeah, you, you know Khan's yeah. in it. You're expecting someone to go Khan. Yeah, and you're expecting Jim. Of you're course, expecting Kirk to you're, go yes, Khan. Right? Absolutely. And fucking that heroes. Yeah. The watchmaker guy. Yeah. This guy. What? What's his name? Uh, really cool name. Spock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I forget the actor's <laughs> name. Uh, yes, yeah, Sp I, Spock. I, I, that I don't, guy. Yeah, he's Spock. That guy. Yeah. Pointy ears. This guy, yeah. Vulcan Pointy ears. Do this. Does this a lot. <laughs> what up? And why don't you live long and prosper, Lee? I don't know why they use it I'm grammatically incorrect. I don't even know if it's grammatically incorrect because I don't know if they're asking you to live long and also prosper. They are live long and prosper. Right, but couldn't it be live long and prosperly, prosperously? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I just feels feels weird because live is an, a verb, so you need an adverb. Prosper is not an adverb. They want you to do both. Long is it? Long is it? Is is an adverb? Live, live long? long. Live long is an adverb. Oh, you know but what? You know what not. it is, dude. I don't fucking care. <laughs> 
I think it's time for another shot. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so he does Star Trek. Yeah, we're going to skip that one because that one's good. All right. So we're going to go to, uh, we've now covered pretty much Star Trek. Pretty much, yes. Now, we probably could have its own show about which of the franchises are best. Maybe we'll do that one day. Should we do that, Twitter? Hello, Twitter Twitter. World. <laughs> Hello, Twitter world. Should we talk about Star Trek franchises like Next Generation versus Voyager versus Deep Space Nine? No, because I don't know anything Thanks, about Twitter that world. shit. I'm not going to watch all those shows. You don't want to. OJ. I'm in the midst. I'm balls deep in them right now. You don't want to watch them. They're Maybe Battlestar Galactica. Fucking. <gasps> we should watch V. Anyway, go. Next. Oh, fuck. You just threw Battlestar and V at me. I'm like, how do I resist, sir? And I'm drunk. I might start. You might start looking good to me. <laughs> you may want to lock that door so my girlfriend don't come in. <clears throat> I need to unlock it Dude. so she does. Oh yeah. Oh. Um. So <laughs> We're gonna do this one quickly, only because it's so fucking good and so ridiculously intricate that I don't know if I can keep up. Godfather Two versus Godfather. Okay. Now Godfather on its own was awesome. Yes, sir. Let's just be awesome. Be yes, honest. Sir. We've seen that. The shoot-up scene in the booth, like, it was so ahead of its time. Now, when I watch it now, I watch it through my current lens of information, so it's skewed. It's kind of like watching an old movie with bad side of, with bad special effects. Yes. Whereas, like, where Star Wars stands out, as an example, the models, because they were models and they did that, it looks so much more realistic than any kind of fake whatever, like, on string. You know what I mean? The way they just, yeah. the way they made it just made it seem realistic so that one still holds up to me whereas a lot of them don't like the shoot up scenes just looks synchronous like the gun going off with the packs going off right the blood packs when they shoot up oh, I understand or whatever. Say that. yeah but then they added fucking serious what it didn't de niro and pacino mm -hmm. i mean young like up and coming yeah fucking hot like first of all phenomenal right in their own right but also eager probably at this point like you know, they're young and but the really wanting to make their yeah, the every, story. The story, I mean. Yeah. Well, and I'm, I'm, you know, so I can speak to that one a little bit. Yeah, that one's awesome. But I'll be honest, I haven't watched it in a long time. So I never saw the second it. one or the third one, so I'm out. Maybe we'll watch it sometime. You talk me into it. Okay, cool. Twist on After a lot of vodka. Um, or actually well, red so, wine and pasta. So now. Yes, today. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the vodka burps. Please excuse me. Burp. Okay, so now we've got, we did that, we did that. All right, so now we're going to go to some other stuff. How about vacation? I like that one. Let's talk about vacation. Does Is anyone know? Hello, Twitter world. What vacation are we talking about? Chevy Chase. Chevy. They don't close Florida. Funny Farm Chevy Chase. They don't close Florida. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's a great The first one's scene, great, think, right? Right. The original vacation's fantastic. It is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Let's just let's just do a couple highlights. Dog on the leash. <laughs> Grandma. And when the ant dies. <laughs> the ant, that's right. <laughs> right, it's great. Grand Canyon. Yeah. All of it. Wally World itself. Yeah, all that shit. Fucking. When he shoots John Candy in the butt with a BB gun. <laughs> yes. It's great. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. Yeah. But, but technically the second one is European vacation. Right. Funny. Yes, Big Ben Parliament, you know. Didn't waste my didn't waste my life away no for that hour and a half right but not not the first one it's because the first one was just so fresh and different it was like no one thought about making a family trip like a joke like no i don't know of any movie prior that really focused on like the trip itself when everyone had that as that's a why experience. it was called vacation that's why it was so awesome because like everyone related to that because i don't know if you guys know this but like jets weren't the biggest thing like everyone drove places Road so they trip. Throw people in the fucking back of a big ass car and go. So that was always that was our childhood for sure. My mom told me a story. She's like, car seats. We just lay the blanket in the back of our fucking Pinto station wagon. Hello. <laughs> that was our car seat. And I'm like, is this why I'm like the way I am? Yes, sir, like, it did, is. Did did the Pinto single handedly make Yes. This? Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck. Thank you, Pinto. Thank you, Pinto. And the fucking scene with Brinkley 
I mean, oh yeah, how fun yeah, with like, the Ferrari, yeah, yeah, the wink and then like the, the whole sandwich. Every guy driving with their fucking chubby ass wife and the fucking brats in the back, or yeah. just waits for some fucking hot piece of ass to pull up in a fucking car that they've always wanted, they've had on their poster on yes. the wall, and flirt with them. It feels good. Yeah, of course. It'll never happen to me. The male ego. Good. Yeah, the ego. The stroke. Whoa. <laughs> Billy Squire. But, the, but the, the, the third one is Christmas Vacation. Correct. Which many people think is the best one. Yes. Because All- it is so memorable. You know, Randy Quaid. Randy motherfucking Quaid. I mean, Shitter's Full is just, I mean, that line is just legendary, right? So can you say that? I'm going to get another shot. Fucking Christ. We're going to drink the bottle. It's going to be a long fucking day. Well, it started here, yeah. so it's not all gone. A third? Mm, probably. So, at least the last one, I didn't... I babied it. Uh, it's okay. Man. Little, I didn't see that. So I'm a little bit. I just admitted it. I apologize. So, so yes. So, Vegas. Uh, Christmas. Chris, yeah, let's not talk about Vegas. Well, so, Vegas was good in its own right just because Quaid himself was fucking yeah, hilarious in that. Yeah, right. The, the bush beer with the 16 cans on this oh belt. God. Remember that? And then where he cooked the meat on the rocks because yes, it was like part I, of the... Of course. Thing. Okay, anyway. But and yeah, let's go to Christmas. Know, what's, let's go to Christmas. Wayne, what's his name? Newton? Yes, that was really funny. Dunkerson. <laughs> but Christmas Vacation is... At Harris once. It was after a USO show. And he was old. And he had a voice like this. I'm like, bro, that bucket list is destroyed. Yeah, just go off into the sunset. I, but I love Wayne Newton. I love that he still has the fucking energy to do it at like 98 or whatever. Right. He's amazing. But God. But is Christmas Vacation better than the original? You know, it's almost like not a sequel. It stands alone. It's really, it's it's like, Vacation, I don't know. It's another way, it's another type of vacation that they did, right? But it wasn't like the story of the ride to get there. It True. was what it was happening. It's Christmas vacation. Because, like, really, the move, the first movie was about the trip. It was really, yes. literally about the journey, not the destination. Yes. Because it's, what's funny about that, it, it's telling you that. Because the destination is closed, for right. God's sakes. Right. So that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, I feel like they are two different movies. However, they are under the same guise, so technically it is a sequel, so it's better. Christmas vacation. Christmas is good. Christmas vacation is a, Who doesn't... Like, I don't know anyone who's been like, please turn that off. You know, I can see people going, I don't want to watch it, but I can't see you turn it on and go, hey, will you humor me? And like, yeah, this is really shitty. I'm going to turn, I want this off. I don't know anybody who did that. I agree. Christmas vacation is better. Beautiful. That was easy. That was so easy. <laughs> We're not breaking up. <laughs> we never break up. Bro. Well, just that one time. You know, I'll never let you leave. <laughs> it puts the lotion in the basket. Never. Okay. On its skin and then in the basket, bro. Good thing I'm a big girl. You can make a lamp out of me. Big girls don't cry. Yeah. According to Fergie and uh, oh, f- and Frankie shut Valley. Shut up. And Frankie fucking Valley, Frankie sir. Valley. Which you didn't do with Jersey Boys too. I'm um, so sad. That's Star Wars, isn't it? God yes. damn it. What are you doing? I was trying to do Superman. 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 I was trying to do Superman. <laughs> I totally fucked it up. I was like, how uh, the fuck is Superman? Superman. That's like Iron Man. Which one? Which, which one's Superman? Do you remember up, Superman? Up and away. No, but you remember like the music? Yeah, there was like a theme song. I know there was. Yay! What the play is off? Yay! Check mark with the win. I take sir. I take uh. I take uh. I take center square. I take uh. What's her name? Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi for the block. Whoopi. Whoopi for the block, please. So Superman, 1980 versus Superman 2, 1982. Go. Whoa. What? Oh, 92 or 82? 80 versus okay. 82. I heard 92 and I went, dude, you went to fucking Kevin Spacey world. No, we're not doing that one. No, we're not because we don't talk about him. Yes. Fuck, I love Brown that. listed. Love his actor. <laughs> Bro. Bro. 
Well, it's, that's like that should be two fifty. That's Mexican blacklisted. It's brown listed. Oh, um, can you please explain to Hello Twitter World? Twitter There's World. There's a reason that Christopher said brown, and he will explain right now. I'm I'm half Mexican. Thank you. And I'm a, you, <sighs> if Mexican blacklisted is brown listed. <laughs> so you do something wrong, you're put on the brown list. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Spacey brown listed. <laughs> But uh, I, I thought it was brown listed because of his axe. No, well, yeah, he's a bad guy. <laughs> he did bad shit. I know. He's what a fucking great I mean, actor. Yeah, and a shitty. Let's. Fucking we person. talked about him last time. God, did we? we? Yeah. Fuck. See, you forgot. Max. The vodka made right. you forget. So Superman. Yes. Uh, the first one, they both had Hackman. They, they had an earthquake, and he made the world go yeah, backwards. Something. And sure. uh, Gene Hackman lived in the subway with the pool underground. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you forgot Second, already. Yeah, I totally. <laughs> I just like look when you ask me to go to Superman. Yeah, I go to the three bad guys. Okay, I go to the interdimensional portal thing. Right? Was that the second the one? Phantom Zone. You are welcome. Not to be confused with Phantom Menace. Totally different. Phantom Power. Totally different phantoms. Or the ooh, or Billy Zane. The Phantom. Yeah, not him either. Yeah. Thank God there's no fucking sequel for that shit. <laughs> anyway, there was. There was a sniper, too. It went too. straight to bed and that. <laughs> went to bed and Went to bed? I thought uh, it went on Dude, I can't talk, bro. <laughs> anyway, General Zod. Yes. Go. Love that motherfucker. I just, uh, he's so fucking good. I, I don't even know who he is and what he did after, but whatever he did there, it was great. And the other guy, the bad guy, the other bad guy the with the big beard. Dude. Yeah, the, the, big, the grunter. He yeah, reminded me he of Jaws. Like, he, lo- he was to Superman what Jaws was to, like, uh, uh, Doc Bond, to James Bond. Oh. Remember Jaws? Or the big guy. Like Moonraker? Moon Moon yeah. Okay. Moon I thought Raker you meant Jaws. Jaws, the shark. Not the, the shark, water. yes. No, no. The oh, Jaws God. from oh, Bond. Right now. He's going to lose his mind. They're coming to take him away. Take him away. Why? I have to have a mind to lose it, sir. Oh, let's see. They're coming to take away his skull. So, yes. they, to sum up, Superman 2 is better than Superman. Uh, without a doubt. Why? I thought the story was way good. And I thought that uh, those bad guys were really good. I think I think a movie needs to have that balance of just as good bad as just as good good. Like, I've seen weak Villains, and I've seen weak heroes. Of course. We're going to go here, but I've seen oh, Aquaman, <laughs> and I've seen fucking Batman with a fleck, <laughs> and I've seen Henry Cavett. General Zod was fantastic. General Zod was fantastic. Yeah, Neil, when he says Neil before Zod. Yes. And then and then Superman goes up there, and he grabs his hand. Yes. And he crushes it. You're like, oh, yes. no way. That was, and you're like 12 years old, you're like, you were fucking blown away that, by that. You walk out of that yeah. movie, like, you were, like, high. There wasn't a superhero movie before that. No. Correct? I, if, Not that I remember. I don't remember a Batman. It took another, t- almost 10 years Correct. for that 89 to 89 was right. the first Batman. It took almost 10 years. Yeah. I mean, technically, if you think about the filming, it probably took that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there, there wasn't a Wonder Woman, there wasn't Well, there was the TV show Wonder Woman. Spider-Man, yeah, but those were, and a lot of those were like cartoony or yes. TV show, like the Hulk. It was like, all TV shows. They weren't, yeah, but they weren't movies. Yeah, yeah. even the Hulk wasn't Correct. even anything. And I'm surprised, was there a Hulk movie with Bixby and uh, Ferrigno? I, where they tried and it there just. There may have been, there but may not, have been. maybe a TV movie. Yeah, they always a, did those. Ding, uh, ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'm trying to find the theme song for all of them. Laura. You're doing a great fucking job. Spider-Man. Anyway. Uh, uh, doing whatever a spider pig does. <laughs> spider pig. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Superman. Yes. Uh, and then, well, let's go to that second grouping. I don't even know where to... I, I, well, I we did talk it. about that last time with the, with the DC versus the Marvel. We did. And the shitty movies. So, let's just wrap... Let's not talk about that. Did you see Justice League? Yeah, we talked. Oh no, God. no, hold on. Because they, they came up with the, the actual, the new director's cut. Have you heard this yet? No. Okay. So this whole time, there has been this conspiracy theory, which we'll get into later. Yes. It's kind of a semi-segue, but not. Um, there's a conspiracy theory that there is a director's cut out there that's like totally different than the shit that they fucking actually ended up putting out on the theater. Oh and now they're supposedly releasing that. 
just so you know. I'm not going to so, pay for it. No, I'm not going to pay for it. Shit, I don't even know if I'll pay for it with my time, let alone the money. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, I don't care. Ben Affleck fucking, the, let's just compare it to Marvel real quick. No, we they don't. Oh, fuck, I'm out then. You are. No, All right, let's next. Go. Let's go to, a, let's, speaking of, speaking of, speaking of men, let's go to the other Batman franchise, the Nolan franchise. We did that last time too. I know, so, but I in my bed a battle, Batman. So the original versus Dark Knight. The vodka is scaring everyone. <laughs> Be afraid. So, well, we're I, talking Bat. We've already covered the early Batman. This is the Christian Bale. This is the series. Christian Bale Batman. And I did like the original. I, I liked how he was training in the mountains yes. with the with the blue flower and Qui Gon Jinn. I forget his real name. The Taken guy. Once again, I'm gonna find you in a cave <laughs> or in a prison in a Batman movie or in a movie <laughs> up on a mountain. I will find you in and I will try to kill you in Gotham City. <laughs> In a different train at the very end. And I hope you just me voice. Uh, and it had Scarecrow, and I thought that was really good. Killian Dane is a phenomenal yeah, actor, I really, by the way. I really, really like him. him in general. Yeah, he's great. So I really liked the movie, and then the second one comes out, and you're like, holy shit. You didn't expect the Joker to steal the movie. You didn't expect him to, let me make this pencil disappear. Holy crap. You didn't expect him to fucking kill himself being so deep in that character that he Correct. went to such deep depression and drug use Correct. that he didn't wake up one morning. Like, Correct. think about how well, fucking much he got into the Joker's head to be that fucking nuts. But we didn't know as an audience, no. you know, we, we just, the movie was great. And then mm. it turns out he died, which is, that's horrible in and of itself. But the movie, the movie... The, the 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 plot and how the Joker starts killing the judges and he goes after the mayor and the blah 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 and that was was that that one yeah, yeah. that was a judge the judges that's right with the card the, the judge right. the mayor the commissioner I'm I got to mix up with the Bane one with Killing Dane playing the judge at the end you know where he's like trial by walking firing yeah you you want to get <laughs> I got them all mixed up yes yeah, fine sorry, sorry. um I, I wonder why I'm getting them all mixed up uh. <laughs> That's why I'm only on four shots, so unfortunately, I'm in charge. That's not good. That's not a good thing. I like your beaker. Me, 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 me. So, hello, beaker. Me, 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 me. So, obviously, you like the movie with the Joker better. Than the original, yes. Yeah. I really liked... What they did was they, I think they knew going in it was going to be more than one movie. Okay. I, I think they went in going it was going to be a trilogy or some grouping already, like which is smart because doing that allows you to really build the character depth in the first one because you never really knew, yeah, my parents got killed. My daddy got shot. My mommy got shot. Oh, that made me a bad guy. I tried, tried to be good. Right? You know what I mean? But that, that internal struggle of how he became... That was a that's a big important part of that because it allows you to really love the character going forward or empathize or some feeling for it for Christian Bale going into the next one. Right. So the first one set up the second one really good. I feel like the second one was the one that they really wanted to make action. I thought the, just from the opening scene where they break into the bank, the bus. Yeah, he's like, "Hey, and the where are these guys?" I'm supposed to kill the bus driver. Right. Bus driver. You know, like that whole thing is just yeah. so it's good. like boom, 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 boom. It goes yeah. right into yeah. it. Yeah. It I mean it's, and it's great. nonstop pretty much the whole yeah, time. Absolutely. And on the boat with the criminals on the one thing with the bomb and then yes. you know, all of that. And fucking Two Face. Who fucking kills off right. his love interest? Yeah. Like how the fuck does that happen? You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. first of all, I there is one thing about it that made me sad is that Katie Holmes didn't wasn't in the second one agreed or that Jill and Hall wasn't in the first I don't know which one I don't care which one it was yeah but they both they should have been in both and I don't know what the fuck could have possibly kept one from being not being in it 
But that's fucked up. And why wasn't Two Face in the third? Why did they go to Bane? He died. Right, I get that. But why didn't they keep Two Face alive oh. and use him as the main villain in the third one? I don't think Two Face was ever it's his own main villain. I feel like they had to team up a lot. Well, actually, they didn't really team up in that. They kind of just did their own thing, right? But the story of Two Face dying, though, allowed them to really build the third one. Kind of lean. I, I get the, that. The whole writing was different. Oh, so yeah, it, yeah. it wrote the character in a different way. So I totally get that. But I understand what you mean. Like, because he, he was, was born. born I mean, he was Aaron born, is a great actor. He was born in the end of the second movie. Like, he was Two Face for like forty minutes. That's it. Yeah, and yeah. then boom, gone. Yeah, he like literally lost his fucking mind because of Rachel. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really, but that's how it works, right? Like, yeah, the book, the blaze of glory, how he had to go. Because then it wrote in the story of blaming the Batman when it really was, you know. Yeah, I, mean? I, like, I, I, I understand that, but I think that that could have been a great character going forward. I think it was, but it's also a little off putting to watch him all the time. So yeah, maybe visually, yeah, but I think visually you don't want to stare at that a lot. I do. So I think, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Hello, Toto World. If you like ugly, half melted off people, just leave a comment below. Hello, Twitter. Hello, Twitter world. I didn't even know what that was. It's that's so the best funny. Thing. It's fucking hilarious. It kind of is, and then it's sad. But that's not the point. The point is that movie was point fucking is, rocked. Joker was phenomenal. Joker, yeah. Heath okay. Ledger, just yes. That real loss, real loss. Oh, absolutely, real loss. Because like, okay, so complete side track because we don't ever do tangents here. no uh what about have you seen the new joker yet just joker on his own i have not i've been, I've been really wanting I'll, to see it. i've got it you can watch it excellent um you're gonna have very interesting feelings it's so different i it's know no, and they're I'm, just nothing like this they're of nothing course like and i'm okay with that i am too and i like i like a story that develops one character i right i, 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 I i'm totally fine with that you know what i like about this mic placement what my third and fourth chin are hidden all the chins. You only see like half of the second one. Perfecto. I feel really good about that. So I'm just going to keep hiding behind it. What like was the that. Heath Ledger one with the... 10 Things I Hate About You? No. Brokeback Mountain? No. That's good too, though. I've not seen that yet. Oh, it's really, And I really it's should. fucking good, it's dude. It's really well done from what oh, I heard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like... All joking aside, that movie I heard um, is really good. No, really the good. one the, 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 when he's in the ain't medieval times oh first night yes knight's tale knight's tale all the knights fucking that's a phenomenal one i love that shit and the bad guy in that is in is in the man in the high castle he's the bad german guy oh he's fucking phenomenal he's always a bad guy the first two the first two seasons of that are great it lost me towards the end of the i watched the first three episodes i couldn't get into it so it it's interesting but it it goes into paradoxes and weird things but it does have the guy from dodgeball okay yeah so okay the guy from dodgeball hills yeah okay so moving on we've got we did star we did all we're gonna wrap it up bro. we're down we're down to two bro we're, we're down to it we're all down. started and what i think are how the it two all best. started and how it's all gonna finish this is how it's all gonna end you know how it's gonna finish for me ow 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 i didn't that's hey. That did not. Uh, there was not no mention. There's no showing of the O face. No O face. No vinegar strokes, people. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Watch the league, my friend. Oh, vinegar God. strokes. I'll send you the clips. Don't, don't worry. Don't no. No, it's a. You'll understand because it looks I like when you, understand. when you smell vinegar. Vinegar strokes. All right, so. <laughs> so we're down to the last two. The finale. The so last you know the last two. I do. Which two? Because it's all about me. Okay, we, <laughs> it is all about Christopher. Yes. Um, which one would you like to discuss first, sir? Because well, these are the two big ones. These are the ones. Um, it all started because of my favorite movie is Aliens. The second one. Z. That I saw in 1986 in the theater at the age of 15. And I never saw the original. 79, 79, 80, 79? Because I was too young and my father was a psycho. And, of course, I'm not allowed to see that kind of stuff. And I remember vividly being nine years old and going to multiple family barbecues and my father telling the story to all the aunts and uncles, all the cousins about the blood and the alien and the that alien thing. popping out. Of hello, my darling. Hello, my yes. baby. Hello, my rock drum guy. The chest oh. burster. 
I remember, and my mom just. It's a mouth to mouth thing. I don't know how to do it. Like, I remember my, my father telling the story of the alien and my mother just sitting in the corner, quiet as usual. Except for with you when she complains about everything. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. I just remember her rolling her eyes and just looking at me and saying, God, your father just doesn't shut up. I go, I know, Mom, but that's you married the freaking dude, so go ahead, asshole. Go anyway, on. they're very different movies. In my mind, Alien was a, a horror movie. Agreed, 100%. In space. I mean, the tagline was, in space, no one can hear you scream. Yep. And then seven years later... Aliens comes out with Sigourney Weaver, same main character, but it's, to me, it's a sci-fi movie, a sci-fi action adventure movie. Totally different movie. Obviously, they both have the same alien creature. Both scary as fuck. True. In same, different ways. Same main character, same alien creature, but vastly different movies, very different. The storylines are similar, because you're always trying to escape an alien. You know, shit. Yeah. But... Go ahead. Please continue. I'm good. I'm biting my tongue as much as I can because I feel like I f I'm Cesar. So I'm going <laughs> to. That's my dad for the, the Twitter, Twitter world. Cesar. Hello, Twitter world. It's me, Cesar is his papa. <laughs> so um, I think the second one's better because part it's partly my, because I saw it first. And I like sci-fi movies better oh. than I like. <laughs> So you did the law of primacy. So it's the first one you saw. So you almost it have is. like it's almost to your heart on your heart. It is, but I also like sci-fi movies better than I like horror movies. Right. So and I watched I watched them all again. All when uh, the latest like Predator came out a year ago, I watched all the Aliens again, and I watched all the Predators again. Just I don't know because I was bored or something. Whatever. So sure. Oh shit! We didn't even talk. Well, Predator Two does not. Right. Let's not. Just, we can. Now let's just not go. Anyway. But yeah, but to, to that see point. them all again and see Alien again, and it was cool to watch them all again. And going along with James Cameron, since we're talking about why sure. isn't there a fucking Titanic too? I didn't understand that. It did so well. It was called the Lufthansa or Lufthansa or whatever the fuck. Britannia. Whatever that other ship that sunk was. The Britannic. Encyclopedia Britannica. It's the Britannic, but but there wasn't a Titanic too. I didn't understand. I don't understand. Tight. Like, why not make that a cash grab? Titanic 2. This time, the iceberg loses. <laughs> Titanic 2. Just jump off the boat. Ice cube tray. <laughs> that was stupid. You're that welcome. I even started that. No, no, yours was fine. <laughs> that I said anything. So, Alien versus Aliens. Yeah, let's go. Um, this is the one. Okay. Big. I agree 100%. Like, Alien is very similar to like a Friday the 13th. It's a guy hiding... The alien's hiding, and you got to find it before it finds you. Is basically the first one. The other one is just that in volume. It's just a run 'em up, gun 'em up. To your point, it's just complete action, totally different. They're not hiding anymore. I mean, they're, they're stalker and predatory. That's their nature, but they're fucking a gazillion of them. Yes, sir. So it's a totally different kind of vibe. Yes. To your point, I agree. I think Aliens is better than Alien, as well. Same, a lot of same reasons. The first one I watched, I didn't know Alien existed. When I watched Alien, I was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> compared, to, well, compared to the to the second one, which is so different, could because it is that different. It was other than just the thing. It was good, that but then it had Tom Skerritt was in it. Yes, and fucking anybody who can play Viper, anybody who <laughs> who was a Viper or would be a Viper, anybody or Jester play. or whatever the fuck. Yeah, no, that was Ironsides. He, he or whatever. was Viper. He was Viper. We got vibe. We got Jester. Woo, Jester's dead. Jester's dead. You guys meet the hard, hard limit at the bottom. Get back up there. And then get back to the base. Hard deck my ass. Yeah. We got Jester's dead. Would you like to hear a story? Of course, sir. Oh, story time. Story Hold on. Story time. Oh, story time. Um, Story time. Story time. As I wear my... Colonial Marines shirt. I have no idea what I'm doing over here. I, I appreciate that. Doing the sound effects. So, um, Hold on. Does this sound like story time? Thank you. So uh, uh, my best friend Abel goes to Comic-Con and he gets me these amazing gifts like this Colonial Marines shirt. Are you fucking wearing what I just talked about? 
Boom. Holy shit, you're... Bro. Bro. That is aliens right there. I didn't even know you brought... You came dressed for the event, Bro. for the occasion, sir. So, my buddy Abel got me this amazing... I also have a Nostromo shirt from, the, a, from, from Alien. The first, yes. And I have a Nostromo hat from Alien. Oh, I forgot. Paul Reiser's an asshole. He is. Sorry. Paul Reiser is an asshole in the second one. Uh, no, that was just a statement. That wasn't about the movie. <laughs> so his character is great, but he's, he's mad an about asshole. You. That's all I need. He's mad about. Yeah. So Abel mad gets me this hat, apparently. right? <gasps> Abel gets me this hat. USS Sulaco. Sulaco. This is the ship from the movie Aliens. And it doesn't even, if you look on there, this, please excuse the sweat stains because I wear it to concerts in the middle of the desert. But it's black. It's black, which is improved. But it looks like a gun or a space. It doesn't look like a ship, right? So I used to wear this hat to work. I'd wear it. I'd wear it all the time. Mm -hmm. I'd wear it. And four or five times I'd be in Costco and a perfect stranger would walk by and say, thank you for your service. And I would, and I'm not, I'm not, I was not in the military. My, my father was a drill instructor in the army. So in a way I was kind of in the military. I had to bounce a quarter off my bed when I was seven. So I, I understand, I, Wow. yeah, it was fucked up. So <laughs> anyway, I, three, four times someone said, thank you for your service. Thank you. For, I'm like, dude. It's a, it's, it's, it looks like a fucking gun, bro. It does. It doesn't even look like real shit. And when it flies through the, when it's in space, like the initial, it looks, like, it a looks like a fucking, yeah, it looks basically just like gun. I think that was genius. So then. But the problem is maybe that it's USS. Cause was it a USS? I don't know. It's a fake ship. It's fake. Right. But wouldn't it be like the VMS or the USV or U? HPV, H HSV two. I don't know. Fucking. KP, MIA, HIV, CIA. So I'm at Costco yeah, two a year, eighteen months ago. Uh, I don't know. I'm in liner, and this gentleman, probably about sixty seven, sixty eight, gray hair. He goes like this. Left hand or right hand? Right hand. Okay, yeah. thank he you. Just me correctly. Sure. I'm like, oh my god, and I just give him a nod and a smile. You didn't salute back because that would have that would have implied that you were in the military. Correct. I did correct. not salute Out of back. Respect. I just you knew gave that. him a yeah. nod and a smile, and I just went on. And I'm just like, oh dear Jesus. But it feels bad if you don't salute back because you feel like that guy felt like he was. No, you acknowledge this. You're right. <clears throat> so I tell my I, I hang out with four friends, two married couples, and I tell them this story that I'm telling you. Like, dude, you're full of shit. They're, I'm like, I'm fucking no, serious. I could totally get it. I, People they're are like, fucking stupid. You're full stupid. of shit, dude. This is bullshit. Right. Then they they start joking with me. So I get text message. Thank you for your service. Hey, thank you for your service. <laughs> thank you for your service. <laughs> so I, I'll bring a six pack of beer. Thank you for your service. <laughs> so they start talking all kinds of shit to me, right? So <gasps> thank then, you for your liquor service. Thank you for your service. So then That's a year ago, we're in Flagstaff for the weekend, the five of us. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing the hat. We're at a burger joint. The five of us, we're waiting for our food. How many times? Wait for it. This is the fucking best one, dude. We're waiting outside for our food. Just It's a beautiful day. You know, it's spectacular. We're sitting outside, the five of us. Uh-huh. Jiggly, jiggly. This perfect stranger walks up to me. Like Balky Bartakamoose walked up to you? He's like, Casillari! I fucking hate you so I much. I love America. America, great Casillari. Sorry. That was, that was, you know, guys, that was not planned. It's my fault I teed it up. You fucking just, It's my bro, fault. here it is, right? That's what you fucking just did. You just lobbed me a softball. So, perfect stranger. Sorry. So, this gentleman walks up to me that I've never met before. Yes. Big dude, like 6263. Six, like Swede from fucking Heartbreak Ridge? Yes. 6263. Six, he, not blonde hair. Right. 6263, six, 255. Big like bugger. a wall. Like, boom. And I'm sitting down, and he walks up to me, and he's, like, up to here. Never seen him before. Puts his hand out. Shakes my hand. He says, thank you for your service. And my friends are sitting there, and I said, thank you so much. That's, I appreciate that. And he walks away, and their eyes are like, holy shit, that happens. And they're like, oh, my God. We can't believe that just fucking happened. I go, see? I fucking told you, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> 
I made the, I made the uh, dog bark. He made the dog bark. I made the dog bark. He made the blind fucking dog. Anyway, bark, so my hat has been retired to um, only wear at concerts. This is my concert hat. Yeah, because nobody that goes to heavy metal concerts has been in the military. No, but, well, there's a few. There's That's a joke. There's was a, some guys, that was a joke, but uh, I think. A most lot people don't. Most people rock. don't. They just they don't care what you wear at most at most shows. So, yeah, but well, you are single with no children, so that's still allowed. But I, your age should make you turn that shit around. Bro. That was story time, sir. I like that. In, in conclusion, that was story time. I love it. And we've got one more. I'm excited. I don't. I don't know if you know we have one more. We, go. But the whole thing was triggered by alien and aliens. Because yes, sir. I. This is the only one that I think competes as it's better than its predecessor. Turtle Tear. Terminator. Ooh. Dose. Yeah. Judgment Day. Because that fucking movie was brilliant. Brilliant. It took the whole time concept and fucking just expanded it. Because time wasn't a... I mean, you had time, time machine and some other stuff, right? People went back in time. But there wasn't as much, like, I don't know if there was as much focus on, like, causality. How something changing here can affect that. Like, everyone going back in time to change the future. That's really what that was, right? It was a yeah. really neat concept. So you had, you know, you had Schwarzenegger in the first one come back in time to go, you know, kill the father. So that's what's going to happen, right? Well, also, I think they already went to kill the dad, or no, they Sarah went to kill, Connor. kill Sarah off the bat, right? And then the dude bangs her when he saves her. Yeah. Spoiler alert, guys. It's only like 35 fucking years old or something. Or 38. Was it 82? 84? 84. 84. 84. So 36 years old? Whatever it takes. 220, 221. Yeah. Whatever it took. And he's Mr. Mom too. <laughs> Multiplicity Mr. Three. Mommer. Groundhog Day 4. What? Same that fucking day? <laughs> that would be dumb. Why the f- Time out. February, February the 6th. Why the fuck is there a never-ending story, too? Just... It should be the first movie it's again. It's just... The never-ending story continued. It's I, not the second never-ending story. Because it's bad grammar. It's because we're fucking stupid. It's because humans are dumb. But, uh, anyway, so Terminator. Yes, sir. I remember seeing that in the theater as well. Kind of like the Aliens thing, right? In line with my buddies. I think I'm 16... I think it was 90. Terminator 2? Yeah, Terminator 2. Yeah. 1990, I believe. So it was like 15, 16, right in that yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah, range yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. Fucking packed. The, you know, the packed right. theater, you're just waiting in line and just being blown away. Absolutely. By how amazing. And I think I saw that before I saw the first Terminator. Because Schwarzenegger was got bigger as we grew up with Commando. Yeah, you mean as Running a star. Man. Yeah, as a star. Yes. And then you had Running Man and the other things that just made him, you know, he was... He was the action star when Terminator 2 came out. Absolutely. Right? I mean, Seagal. Yeah. Predator was Right, huge. Predator. Oh, my fuck. 87. Predator, yeah. Running Man. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. so great. Yeah. I love Running Man. I love, you know, all of them. Come on, you know. Cool, to split. Okay, sure. Sure, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. Red buggy, bumpy, bunga, diapers. <laughs> That's from Last Action Hero. That was terrible. I love that movie, though. I really did. And it, because it stopped. Collaborate and listen. No. Okay. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Not the main thing I've been on ice. Of course it did. But uh, no, Terminator 2 was fucking awesome. It was just. It was. It was two guys going back in time really fucking with each other. How could you. It's better than and, one. And this, the other, the new Terminator and and the CGI was really, was really good for that, for its time. Ed Furlong as the kid was great. Yes, absolutely. And so was the, so was the new Terminator. Absolute, and I can't yes. think of his name, but he was he had that mantis look. Yeah. That cut like, that cumberbatchy like yeah. Star Trek. Right. He just looked like he was a predator. He looked like a badass. Yeah. And and he wasn't big. He was slender. He was absolutely. slender. He just yeah. he, he he had that stare, that gaze. But uh fucking the effects, all of that was just phenomenal. So there's our list. I have to disagree slightly with that T one T two because looking back on it now, as the idea of Terminator and the fact that a machine can become self aware and take action upon that, I think is wow. I don't think most people thought about that idea. Oh yeah, and gave it a lot of credence. Until the last 10 years, maybe even 
four years because we had a which we should talk about this later. You know, we have AI and iRobot and all these other movies that. Yeah. But the the original idea of Terminator, I think, is wow. Yeah, you're right. There are there are only a few movies I can think of where technology turned on us. Yeah. And that's a big fucking deal. There was one called Saturn Five. I remember the name. And I just remember that one. It was like a robot that just turned. And that was in the seventies. I remember that one. And I remember like a couple weird ones that they did, but nothing nothing took hold like Terminator took right. hold. Because that really was like Skynet turns on. Because yes. that's what we're talking about. We're we're on that cusp, right? I mean, yeah. we're going to talk about AI, and I'm sure Terminator will be right. Up but a that's lot, but I think that yes, T1 versus T2. T2 yeah. had I'm sure the the more money, action. I, well, T2 the money they spent on the movie yes. I'm sure was it probably twice as much. I'd have to. Look, I probably I probably guess ten times as much. Okay. No joke. Because remember remember the 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 effects in the first one. It was like Alien. It Absolutely. wasn't as much effecty as it was that ominous, the Blair Witch. It was yes. all anticipation. Yeah. What's coming around the corner? Who's coming the music, to get us? When are yes. they going to... Yeah. All that that, right. bi- that built that ambiance right. for it, right? Right. And it was... In 84, there was no... Spe- it was all... There was no CGI. Right. It was all like animatronic robot. And yeah. it was all... Had to be like Star Wars. So it was... There was a model and there was a fire and there was explosions. And then in 90, they had some CGI. And they, they did. They had all that... St- it looked really good for the time. It did. And I think it even holds up in a lot of ways today. I agree. Because the technology that they had to their... Like, they didn't go... They didn't stretch it. They didn't use the technology to do something, like, on the cusp of the limit of the technology. Yeah. So, like, when the mercury melted and stuff. That looked realistic, because it just... That was, like, within the limits of what they could do. Right. But they didn't overdo it. I agree. uh, I agree. You know. And and, and I think T2 is, is a great movie, but I don't know if it's better, because... I think Terminator was groundbreaking in its idea and in its story. Yeah. So I know most people would say T2, but because it's the production value, they made it, it's a, it was a blockbuster where Terminator was not, but I still think Terminator could have been a better, it is a better movie. I get it. And story, I mean, just the, the concept alone is, correct. The idea is, stands. Yeah. Yes. Stands the idea. The and they had Arnold and he didn't talk, but he was terrifying. And how fucking scared are you that Skynet turns on in this? Oh yeah, I, I, I'm not losing sleep over it, but it's a scary idea. Yeah. It's a concept that's not okay. Just real briefly, before, we're not gonna we're gonna have it, our own podcast about that. But I don't know. I don't, I don't want to. About I'm, AI? I'm scared. Come on. I don't want to talk about put on your big boy pants, Christopher. I don't like pants. And don't wet them this time. Oh dear Jesus! After you put them on. Okay. However, less shots. <laughs> Well, the shot. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. More potent shots? So we have less Sure, of Apple Teenies. Ooh. Fuck yeah. But what's interesting about the, the AI thing, real quick, because we're going to close it on this. Sure. But like... Oh my God. You give a computer all the information of the world. Everything that's ever happened. And right. all the decisions made and every fucking thing that's done, said, every history video thing... And then it go, and then you go. Hi, help us solve world problems. <sighs> Wouldn't you just go, bro, mm-hmm. bro? Too late. Uh, you guys, uh, hello. You guys are the fucking problem. You guys so, fucked it up. Yeah, go ahead and turn me on. I'll come. The solution is you guys not being here. That's just the truth. That seems logical. To the me. less you, like we talked about Chernobyl. We'll talk about it another time. But this was fucking fun. Absolutely. And we're going to fucking kill this bottle on our next episode, my friends, because I think our next episode is right around the corner. Right. I think we're going to talk about what our drink says about us. Oh, fuck. Now, this is not our drink of choice, but this is Mr. Mr. Uh, What's his name? Ackroyd. Yeah, see Ackroyd here. He's a conehead, by the way. Daniel. Was there a coneheads, too? Um, There wasn't a spies like us too or anything like that but this is mr Ackroyd and his crystal skull vodka thank you for this it's delicious and we're going to tell you what it means if you drink this like a little bitch that you are all the time <laughs> so hello twitter world that has been our sequels if you guys have any thoughts or comments please leave them below not not down there but like down at the bottom of the thing um we're gonna we're gonna exit but to recap, 
This has been the sequel episode. Yes, sir. So thank you for joining us. Aliens. Terminator 2 that you don't agree. Thank you for your service. Oh. <laughs> thank you, sir. Um, <laughs> on that note, we're going to leave, but we're going to come back with some other fucking thing. Totes. And drink some more. Yeah. So I hope you guys have Let's a great day shots. and hang out with us some more. And peace out. BeerGoogles.com. Double O, double G.